Let's try 10. So what do you guys think? Easy? I mean, we're playing through it for the first time, so we should probably do easy. Um, and that way we can really see everything the game has to offer. And uh, I, I really think that playing games on easy is probably the best thing to do. That way you can really... <laughs> no. No. Okay. Um, oh. Uh, we'll start with bro. Yeah. You wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. No, guys, we'll save the girl for our second playthrough. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. It's running at 180 FPS, with everything turned up. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Okay. You've been given an objective. Hit O to open your transcribe. Alex convinced me. I'm going to join him aboard the Talos One space station. The work we're doing up there is too good to pass up. Plus, he says he's got a surprise. I have to jump through some hoops at the training center before I board the shuttle. Put on the Transtar uniform in your apartment. Okay. Oh, oh, we can search things. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Warning, Neuromod should only be administered by certified Transtar technicians under controlled conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterward. Remove Neuromod from vacuum sealed container. Pressed rubberized eye cup firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. Keep eye open. Depress orange release trigger and continue to hold Neuromod against eye for five minutes? Huh. No thanks. Oh. That's a door? Secrets! Oh, but there's nothing in here. Wait, what's that? Oh! Yeah, take that, jerk. Mmm! Mm. And I throw it on the ground. I won't be a slave to your system. Hold F to pick up multiple items. Oh, cool. Oh, we can just hold F and move around? That's pretty cool. Speech synthesis and natural language generation. Voice conversion technology enables synthesis items to generate speech patterns based on their source or entirely new voices without the need for exhaustive recording or pre-processing. The quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data as well as the precision of the conversion function and limitations in processing power. Hmm, frayed wire. Whee! <laughs> Pretty good. I'm just going to throw everything over there. By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Oh. Uh, T. Workstations. Many Transtar employees have private workstations. Lock stations require passwords. Search the environment for clues or use the hacking ability to bypass the login. Workstations may contain email, files to download, or special utilities. We play in Deus Ex, boys! All right. Um, well, let's look around the environment first. See if we can find the password. Although, if this is like other games, then hacking may give us experience. Put that stuff over there. If that's the case, we may want to do that. Oh, here's some more stuff. 
Consider there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun, many of them far older. Some of these stars will have Earth-like planets. Some of these stars may have developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may develop interstellar, interstellar travel. If a civilization begins before ours, it seems possible, even probable, that even at the speed of currently envisioned interstellar travel, they could already have the entire galaxy colonized. The problem is, we haven't detected any such civilizations, nor have any contacted us. Why? Hmm. Is this all... Whoa. Okay. Okay. The nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. This is some pretty heavy reading, dude. The brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of the quantum coherence in biological processes such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell paved way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right, what is this? Galactic Conquistadors. That looks like a fun game. Oh, who's this? Oh. Wait, whoa. Oh, I just scrolled the wheel. Damn. Get out of here. <laughs> We're like wrecking this dude's place. Get out of here. Is that the console? Damn. Three hours later and Co is still in the apartment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me. Himself, maybe. Me, no. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. Hmm. Drink. G. Congrats, Morgan, Alex. Heart of the Walk. Cooking with a well-seasoned wok can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before, now imparting echoes of their rich flavor to every new meal it is tasked to cook. I, sounds cool. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I still got mine, though. Mm hmm. Hmm. Take! Take! Nice. I need leverage level three to carry. Hmm. Okay. And I throw it on the ground. Dunk. Um, so we never found a password. Interesting. I thought we would have found a password somewhere. Can we go outside? Oh, it's jammed. That's the worst door ever. Get out of here. Now I'm just now I'm just raging. <laughs> oh, we gotta take a shower before we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, very nice. Oh, that's right. In my clothes, but I don't even care. Mmm. It's like a Pantene Pro V commercial right now. So good. It's okay, I need these clothes to be a little wet anyway. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Oh, come on. Oh, close. We almost had it, chat. We almost had it. Nothing in there. Okay. 
nothing behind the door. All right, let's try to hack this computer. See what we can do. You think that's the password? Those are just elements, I think, yeah? N R F P N E F I F L F I L. Oh! Uh, well, I don't, I don't click it. Use object F. Oh, so I already know the password, so it auto enters. I like that. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming on board soon. Your first official workday is Monday, March fifteenth. But sure, we have a, uh, first we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I will see you soon. I sent a package with everything you'll need on, for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neuromod. Install the neuromod right away as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're New York company stuff. Uh, but they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at some, the same time. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyway, uh, everyone's excited about your ideas up there. So get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very soon. See you very, very soon. Morgan. Morgan from Alex. Is Alex his sister? So like if you play the female... Then the male is the alternate character. It's kind of like Mass Effect Andromeda, actually. Hmm. If if that's what's happening. That may not be what's happening. Um, okay, now, do we have a Neuromod? Okay, let's do this next. Let's take a look in here. So we've got objectives. We've got an inventory. We don't have a Neuromod in here. Data. Oh, this is all the stuff we've read. Great. Man, this is a slick interface, dude. I like this. This is really cool. Uh, there's the emails we did. Cool. We don't have any audio logs yet. Research. I wonder what that is. And it looks like we're missing a bunch of menus, too. Which makes sense. We just started. Um, Alright, let's keep going. How long have I been playing Prey? Oh, 15 minutes. We just started. Just started. Alright, we're gonna put on the uniform. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, buddy. Look at you. What a cutie. I miss my salt water tank. Morning, Mr. Yu. Hey, Patricia. How are you? Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. You'll have to take the elevator. <laughs> oh, okay. Use space to jump, shift to sprint, and C to crouch or slide while sprinting. Ooh. Whoa. Wait, how far can we slide? Damn, son! <laughs> nice! Was there an echo? Oh, there was? Oh, maybe, I hope I don't have to wear headphones for this game. Uh, my floor or roof? And it, Oh, wow, it's custom to me. That's pretty cool. Um, can we do anything else here? That door's locked. Not, can we pick this up? Oh, do you need this? Okay, cool. It's down there if you need it. Rude. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, that was an in-game echo, not me. Okay, cool. Cool. Great. This feels so deus sexy right now. And and I'm absolutely loving that about it. Even the music a little bit. <laughs> I 
Just checking our bases. Alright, looks good. What is that bar? Oh, it's my stamina. Okay, cool. Cool. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Damn, man. It's like a luxury chopper. A Bethesda! Oh, wait, what? 78 degrees. Clear skies all the way. Oh, it's the... Oh, that's cool. I feel, like, I feel like we need to turn the music up at this part. I'm hearing some good music. Hold on. That's a nice view on the bay there. That is cool. Oh, there's Talos. This is it. Pray. Ha ha ha! Title drop! And we're gonna land right in front of it. That's so perfect. Here we are, Mr. Yu. <laughs> Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Did I play the Prey demo? No. No, I, I I purposely avoided the demo so I could do it all live with you guys. Also, by the way, I want to point something out here, dudes. I'm really going to be focus mode for the first probably couple hours of this game. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll pause at a few points to catch up with subs and resubs, but please don't expect immediate acknowledgement while I'm doing this. I'm having way too much of a good time right now. Hi? The hell are you? You're like a floating computer. Hi. I'm a civil 495 science class operator. Okay. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live readings. Don't hey, worry. baby. Nothing will be missed. My tools are calibrated that way too. What you doing tonight? Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. Damn. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. Hey, mine I can too. provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test. Why, thanks. I love drugs. Hmm. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know Me I too. am. Are you floating computer? I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. Oh. So it is brother. I thought that was sister. Okay. The elevator will take you directly to the testing area. How much dialogue do you have? All our labs meet the minimum. <laughs> uh Okay. Um that's not good. Can I pull up here? Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Confirm. Yeah, apparently I broke it. Shit. Morgan. Hey, what's up, dude? Finally. They look like dishonored people. Except a little bit more realistic. Hey, you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but that's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. 
Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. So guys, just real quick. Um, Dr. Yu. Is this the demo that I'm playing now? Where, where, where does the demo happen? Because now that I'm thinking about it, I, I have no you, idea. I know I'm waiting, but this is 100% run, so i got to check behind everything. You take your time. Can I go in here? No, I can't. Yeah, this is where the demo is about now? Okay, cool. Great. Hey, guys. What's up? This isn't awkward at all. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Hi, Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Okay. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. Hmm. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Wonderful. That's... Uh, you're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Okay. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume they want us to hide behind the chair. Look. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. <laughs> hmm. Uh, any synaptic register at all? <laughs> is is no? is he? Is he hiding behind oh, the chair? Fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. Oh, am I? Okay, yeah, I'm, I, this is just marvelous performance right now. That zero doesn't look very good. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. So they're trying to see if I have some kind of extraordinary power they're hoping I have. The red button starts the test. I mean, I'm just gonna... I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simon? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker still on. <laughs> I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Okay. D is for dingus. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. Good job, you sat down. I'll show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know and love or try something new. Familiar. Whatever you good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Dude, I haven't felt this coddled in a while. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Calm, it was worth it. <laughs> uh angry. No one has that right. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. 
A runaway train, train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. I guess switch tracks. Good. Next. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the train track would stop the train. Oh, God! <laughs> what? <laughs> um... Um... I don't even want to... I don't even want to think about the image of pushing a fat man in front of the train and that stopping the train. We're going to do nothing. Almost done. A runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping on the track, but you would die jumping on the tracks. Wow. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... My coffee. It's empty. What the shit was that thing? Is that one of the little alien things? Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. What? Um Six emails instead of three. Um, um, I don't trust you. Dude, the exact same stuff is in all the containers. What the hell is going on? <laughs> 